Hello chess lovers, welcome to the new video. So we have a new exercise. Uh, this time it's again not created by me. It's something that I encountered while uh, practicing chess. Uh, so I was trying to solve this position and it's not easy. <laughs> Trust me. So I recommend you to pause the video and try to solve it. Some of the moves seem uh, natural and easy to find, but then it gets tricky. So let's go over the solution. Uh, so the first move um, is queen takes h6 and the idea is twofold. If black takes with the pawn, uh, the g-file opens and that can help uh, white deliver checkmate. Uh, knight f6 check, the king has only one square and rook g8 is checkmate. So let's go back of course, uh, black is going to take with the king because of that precise reason. But then we can give a check on h1. If we could somehow make possible for the e2 bishop to join um, the attack via h5 square, this could be a checkmate. Imagine a check like this, king goes uh, to the h file and then a discovered check controlling uh, the h7 square and activating the rook. So what we need to do? Free the way for the e2 bishop. So king f4, opening up the bishop, and if black takes our knight, he plays right into our hands, because after bishop h5, king has to go to the h-file, bishop f7 is checkmate on the next move. Uh, black can block, but we will just take. So let's go back. Uh, I saw this far. When I was solving, I saw this far and then I saw, okay, so what if black would include one of his major pieces along the sixth rank? For example, queen e6, with the idea of blocking on the h6 square. If we now try uh, bishop h5, the king can go back to h7 and this square is free. So after bishop f7 discovered check, uh, there is queen h6 with check. Uh, so we can block that with knight g5, king h8, and I saw all this. So I saw this, rook takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, uh, pawn takes, king takes, and now we are a piece down, but we have to connected past pawns, and we are probably going to pick up the f5 pawn, and then we'll have three uh, past pawns, maybe. And I couldn't uh, evaluate this position. It was really not clear for me uh, who is better and why. Uh, the computer uh, told me later that the position is equal, but uh, for me it was impossible to understand that. So I was thinking, I was sure that this is not the solution because the final position is so hard to evaluate. So in this position there must be something else. And I got this idea. Uh, putting the knight to g5, taking away the h7 square, so when I check the black king, he will not be able to go there and to keep this square free for the blockade. So essentially he will have to go to h6 and then this will be checkmate. And I figured, okay, black has an extra queen, but he needs to deal with this um, checkmate in two threat. So he doesn't have time uh, for any, I don't know, um, slow moves. So what he needs to do, I thought he needs to give me check or to remove my e5 pawn, but in my mind uh, there was an error because I combined these two uh, necessities of blacks, uh, giving check or uh, taking my e5 pawn, so I figured the only move is to take the pawn with the queen. And it is not true because he doesn't have to do both. He can either give check or capture the e5 pawn, which means that just simply taking here by the knight is winning. Because now the f6 square is free, so the king can run that way when I give him check. So that was my error. And that's why I solved the problem wrongly. But, okay.
okay let's continue with my bad solution so I thought this was the only move and after d5 I also thought that rook e5 is the only move I haven't seen knight e5 I don't remember why but now I thought maybe here there is a win you know we have the same number of pieces black has uh, many extra pawns but I thought maybe there is something here but I couldn't solve it in my mind so I cheated I set up the position on the board and I tried to figure it from here and still it wasn't easy so I was pretty sure that this is not the solution but I came up with an interesting move of which I was very proud of until I checked it <laughs> with the computer so that move was bishop f3 so let's see what was my logic so my logic was okay I'm attacking the knight and the knight supports the rook if it was my, my move I would just capture and capture but black can defend so what were the possible defenses so first I consider defending the rook with a king so now when I capture the rook is defended but there is a problem there because after we take on c6 and give check now the bishop is attack, attacked and the rook is attacked so the king cannot do both it cannot prevent uh, protect the bishop and protect the rook at the same time so king f6 is not good enough if he protects the rook with a pawn then he gets checkmated because he took away his uh, f6 square so this is a forced checkmate if he retreats the rook there aren't many squares to retreat so let's look e4 is taken e3 is taken e2 and e1 are taken as well as is e6 by the knight so that leaves him with e7 and e8 and if he goes to e7 then he again uh, prevents this king from coming and defending the bishop so white can win like this bishop h5 king f6 knight h7 king e6 and now just because the rook is here we can take the bishop because if the rook wasn't there a few moves ago uh this move would be possible defending the bishop but now it's not but what i fail to see is that black can defend this rook in another way by playing bishop d6 also threatening some discoveries so actually it's threatening checkmate uh, but i haven't seen this so i totally failed I, I i did solve the first few moves but i failed in solving this puzzle but it was interesting it was interesting to me uh, to look for uh, all these possible uh, continuations so let's go and check um, what is the correct solution so this is the position where I made a mistake I tried 9g5 and I saw bishop h5 which leads to an unclear position but the move that uh, leads to victory is rook h8 controlling the h7 square from this side so once the bishop gets to h5 um, both h6 h7 and h6 will be controlled and there isn't really a way uh, for black uh, to stop this uh, he can't even sacrifice here i mean he can just for one move but after the second recapture the knight is still controlling uh, that square and then just bishop h5 is a uh, checkmate so very interesting position and very hard i don't know if you managed to solve it but i definitely did not so let me know in the comments uh, how difficult it was for you or maybe how easy it was for you thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye